Hello everyone, welcome to this pre-recorded training webinar. My name is Jessica with the Customer Success Team at Humanity. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the upcoming changes that we have coming out soon to Humanity Leave module. By the end of this webinar, you will know how those changes will impact the current usage of the module as well as how you will be able to take advantage of the exciting new features that we have. For a quick background, our leave module has evolved and today it's a more robust tool that can handle multiple leave types for detailed tracking against different types of leaves, for example, sick, vacation, PDO, etc. In the upcoming leave improvements, we are opening up the ability to further customize leave by employee and by leave type. Because we will have enhanced customization available, we're going to need some help from you when it comes to implementing these changes the right way to your accounts. So let's get started. We'll jump into the app to show you the new changes and its impact. When we launch Humanity, the first thing we want to do is go into Settings, Leave and Availability Settings. Currently in Humanity, you have a global setting Max Leave Days. This global setting defines the pool days off your staff are allowed to take when they request leaves against the different leave types that you have set up here in your account. With the upcoming release, we are removing this global setting and all leave types will inherit that value initially. I'm switching my screen to improved version that you will see when the new changes go live. There is no global setting, but each leave type has the ability to set entitled days. For example, you had the global setting, to, uh, global setting set to 25. Each leave type in the improved version here will inherit the global setting value and the new entitled days will be 25 for each leave type. Because we're removing the global setting and applying a balance to each individual leave type, it's going to be very important for your account to check and make sure we have applied those balances correctly and that you have each balance afterwards the way you'd like for each leave type on your account. So, this is fairly standard till this point. We're getting rid of the global setting. We're applying that setting value now at each individual leave type and you'll need to verify that each leave type balance is set appropriately for your business. With upcoming release, the other improvement we're going to allow is that under every individual profile, managers will see the leave section. That'll give you the ability to assign and unassign these leave types. When these changes go live, we will assign all of your existing leave types to everyone. If employees should not be assigned to all leave types, you'll need to disable them in each employee's profile. For this example, we could say that casual leave is something that staff are entitled to after they spent six months with the company. Let's disable that for this individual for now. Also, each leave type max days will be assigned to employees by default. Here you can see the remaining leave days. You can override that for an individual employee by setting the entire leave days here. For example, let's say that employees get additional leave days after two years of seniority with the company. So I will be able to override the default leave balances for individual staff member. Now that we have gone over what these improvements look like from the settings level, let's take a look at what this would be in action when requesting or, or approving leaves. Just like before, when requesting leave, you will have the ability to select the employee if you're a manager, or as the individual, you'll be directly here. Now, what's new here is that you'll only see the specific leave type associated to this individual. You will also be able to see the remaining balances of those leave types. So here, for example, you can see Aaron Martin has his leave types associated, and we can see the leave balances for each leave type. That's pretty much it. Let's do a quick recap. First, you can set the max number of days by leave type. Second, you can set leave entitlements in the employee profile. So what you need to do is confirm through leave settings that each leave type has the correct entitled number of days. And also verify the employees that have their own entitled leave days set and make sure they're correct. I hope this webinar was helpful. Our teams are standing by to answer any questions you have. Please contact us at support at humanity.com. We're here for you.